Hello, this is Lawrence with a quick demo of capturing academic papers into Zotero and then moving the good parts into Obsidian via MD Notes. The details of setting up the extensions and the plugins are given in the note that you see right here. This is Lawrence's showcase for the LYT and all of this folder I have zipped up and posted on my website lparton.com so you can get them there. A quick download, it's all just one folder you can put into any vault. The URL is in notes below. Right now I won't cover the setup but just show the capture, the annotation, and the export. So first of all let's take a look at Zotero and here we're looking at uh, Mind Language, uh, one of the many collections in my Zotero library. Now I'm going to switch up to this collection, another inbox for Baoda. Baoda. And uh, let's take a look at him. I'm interested in him today. Here he is. He's going to be a keynote speaker in uh, January, I think, over in uh, Vietnam. But he teaches at uh, Monash University, and he's written some books about silence in the EFL, the English for uh, uh, the English as a foreign language, EFL classroom, uh, a particular problem for learning a language to remain silent in a classroom. But it's quite common in Southeast Asia. He's got some a lot to say about it. I want to read into that. So let's take a look. We're going to move on to Firefox. Uh, whoops, we are on Firefox. We're going to move here. I've already taken a look in Google Scholar and uh, come up with this page here. Uh, this is the first page of many pages. Uh, all of these, yes. Looks like Bob Dot has uh, at least contributed to all of these papers. So I want to download every one of them. Now, if we look up here in the upper right hand corner you can see save to Zotero Google Scholar. Let me see if I can get um, uh, let's see I would like to get the magnifier to come up. Let's see if it will do it. Uh, we're going to get that up and here it is. Here it is. Here's the magnifier so we can see up here this is a little folder icon, save to Zotero. Zotero extension, very smart. It knows that there's many papers on here, so it might do more than one. If I move over to here, now we're on Eric, a page with only one paper. And we look up here at the same place, now we see that saved to Zotero, the icon looks like just a paper. And uh, that's how smart it is. Now I'm going to get rid of the magnifier and move back to here. Here we've got the Google Scholar page. And I'm going to click on that folder icon. And it pops up. It knows that I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, and look, I've got ten papers possible here. And I am going to just hit select all, select all of them, and then say OK. And you can see it's now downloading all of those papers. It's doing the metadata as part of a parent item and you can see it's also downloading many PDFs. When it was able to find a PDF, it will download the PDF as well. So we can see that it's quite busy. It's telling us right here what it's doing. Let's go to Zotero itself and yes, here are all of these items in here. Let's take a look. Uh, this is the contributions of Vietnamese learners to English of VLT methodology. I'm going to double click it. And if the uh, PDF is there, hello, it looks like the PDF hasn't arrived yet. Um, 
So what I'm going to do, I did this a little bit earlier. I'm going to take a look here, open up the PDF, and we can see that a little bit earlier I had already did a little bit of highlighting here in this file. And uh, so that's quite cool. Let's highlight one more. Uh, learners' views are rarely taken into account. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to mark that in green. OK. Now, I'm going to close this. We're going back to the library. And now, what I'm going to do is to select the first, second, no, first, let me hold the shift key down, the first uh, three papers, and right click. Now we're going to come down with a pop up here. Where's my right click menu? Unresponsive. Busy. Okay. Let's see what we can do to get, there we are. Um, oh, one more step. I forgot that step. Right here. Right click on this parent item. We're going to add note from annotations. Click on that. And the annotations that we made earlier are now showing up over here. Whoop, let me open that again. And there we are. We've got one, two, three annotations, highlights, that are one part of the notes. There's one, two, three, four, five notes here now. Now I'm going to highlight here to here. They're selected. And I'm going to come down here to MD Notes. MD Notes suggests two options, export to markdown. This would only be the notes uh, the main notes themselves. I'm going to create full export notes. I click on that. And now it's going to want to know where to put them. And I'm going to just put them in Zotero exports because I, I already put them into my MD folder. That is one of the folders in my Zotero. I'm going to skate up to here. I put them into teaching. We'll open up teaching and now we can look at, let's see, what did we, employee, no, which one did we do? The contributions, right. So here we're looking at the, con we've got some front matter, uh, the contributions Vietnamese learners to English uh, to ELT methodology, highlights and noted, and here's our our notations, annotations right here. That's how quick it is. So again, in Lawrence's showcase, uh, we've got all of the notes. Let me turn on preview. In there, we have all of these notes about how to set up the extensions, both for the browser and also for uh, Zotero itself. So you can download it there in lparton.com. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.